Queen of Tears was one of the most anticipated releases of this year, and as it turns out, the cast had to follow quite a few strict rules in preparation. First things first, did you know that some of the filming took place in Germany? That's right, the cast had to travel all the way to Europe to make some of the scenes happen. Lead actors Kim Soo Hyun and Kim Ji Won were actually spotted together in Germany in July of last year. They were seen filming in multiple open locations, but no one knew for sure where the official location of the set was. Multiple pictures and videos of the two working on the drama were released, only adding to the excitement for the show. In a press conference for the drama, Soo Hyun revealed that filming abroad came with its challenges. Shooting in Germany was one of the most memorable moments out of all the filming experiences he had. He explained that it was very fun, but also incredibly anxiety-inducing at the same time. Elaborating on this, he said, because it was overseas and one of the first times I was filming for a long period out of the country, I was unfamiliar with my surroundings and had difficulty concentrating on set. Luckily for him, he had some amazing co-stars around that helped him to find his focus again. He expressed his gratitude for Jiwon in particular, saying, when she is in character, she really exudes this aura that helps me focus. Her being there as a very strong presence really helped me get grounded and into character again. Their amazing chemistry didn't just appear out of thin air, though. They actually had to put quite some work into it. Jiwon confessed that at first it was pretty awkward, since they were both very nervous and tense. However, as time progressed and as they got to know each other better, they became much more comfortable around each other. She shared that they were in no rush and actually took their time with it, which is what led to the amazing final product. Soo Hyun also dished on what it was like to find out he was paired up with Ji Won to play the lead couple. He confessed that he was extremely excited to work with her since he'd only ever seen her on screen in other projects. At the same time, he was very nervous, to the point there were times he'd stutter in front of her. It didn't help that both of them are very introverted and reserved people. He confirmed that it took a while for them to get close to each other because of this. He shared that it was also pretty hard for them to be expressive with their feelings at first, but after a lot of practice, they got the hang of it. The production of the series also took an incredibly long time, which means the cast was on set every day for multiple months in a row. When the official number of episodes for the show was revealed, it shocked quite a lot of fans because they were convinced the drama would be longer due to how long the filming took. The cast started filming in July of 2023 and had its finale party on the 3rd of March of this year. That means filming took an impressive eight months, which is an incredibly long time for only 16 episodes. The cast really worked overtime to get everything done, but it was definitely worth it in the end. Not only was the cast expected to be on set every day for months in a row, they also had to come prepared to make the most out of their working day. Jiwon shared that she was in awe of Soo Hyun's determination and discipline, as he came to set incredibly prepared every single time. She confessed that this made her want to better herself by studying her script even more in preparation. Even though the cast got to read the script before filming the episodes, some things still came as a surprise for them. In episode 6, Ji Won's character learns about her husband's decision to divorce her. Ji Won shared this actually came as a shock to her and she was genuinely upset about it while filming. Explaining her feelings about it, she said, I don't think I can describe it. What can I say? I remember feeling betrayed and feeling really sad when filming that scene. The storyline hurt her feelings so deeply she actually truly felt it and managed to use that raw emotion on screen as well. She expressed she felt betrayed by the plot because she believed Soo Hyun's character would stick beside her no matter what. Ji Won also had to put a lot of effort into her character's styling. Usually a team of stylists is behind the design of every outfit, but in this case, Ji Won herself also had her fair share of input. Since Hong Hae In is pretty wealthy, Ji Won had to reflect that in the way she dresses. Explaining her choices, she said, I thought a lot so that Hong Hae In's elegant and extravagant styling not only simply reflects her wealth, but also connects the character's situation and emotions. Those who paid close attention to the series might have noticed a change in her outfits over the course of the episodes. Hae In's change in looks was a deliberate choice, as Ji Won shared that she started to wear more extravagant outfits the happier her character got. In other words, Hae In uses her outfits to express her emotions and personality. Each outfit represents how she's feeling in the moment, which is a really cool creative touch. Ji Won had to do a lot more than help pick her outfits, because she also had to make sure her body was in the best condition possible while filming so that she could rock those clothes on screen. Her dedication to the show was otherworldly because she revealed she avoided eating Chinese food for a year in order to prepare for her role as Hae In. This happens to be her favorite food, but she couldn't touch it at all because she had to follow a very strict diet, which included staying away from heavy meals. She looked stunning throughout the entire series, so it definitely wasn't a wasted effort. Fortunately for him, Soo 
Hyun wasn't forced to be on a diet, however, he had to put his effort in other areas. In the very first episode, there's a scene in which Hyun Woo is drunk out of his mind, crying about the fact that he doesn't want to go home. The emotions in this scene were so intense that it went viral all over the globe. It turns out that this particular moment was entirely improvised by Soo Hyun. The entire drunken fit was his idea as he disclosed in a recent behind the scenes video released by Netflix. Considering that this scene did so well, there's probably a lot more moments that Soo Hyun orchestrated without us knowing. Now that we're on the topic of emotions, did you know that Soo Hyun really had to practice to nail his crying scenes? Queen of Tears was his comeback project after having been on a long hiatus. He wanted the long wait to be worthwhile for his fans, so he chose a project that would hit them right in the feels. In a Couch Talk video released by Netflix, both he and Ji Won talked about how this drama really helped them get in touch with their feelings. Soo Hyun confessed that his capacity for crying improved a lot, and that he had to think of a strategy to use his tears to the best of his ability. Sharing his thoughts on this, he said, From my experience, tears are a limited resource. If you use up too much early on, you could run out later. You also need time to recharge. Soo Hyun wasn't the only one who had to work on his crying skills. Ji Won also also had to tear up quite sometimes, and it wasn't easy for her, especially after a long day of filming. Explaining her technique, she said, there's a finite amount of tears you can shed in a day, so when I cry a lot early on, I find myself maintaining my emotions, but not able to cry as much later on. Lastly, there's a good possibility that the cast had to read into the love story of no one other than Samsung heiress Lee Bujin. There have been many rumors going around that the show is heavily inspired by this real life case, as the clues are just unmissable. For those who don't know, Boo Jin runs Hotel Shilla, which is a renowned hotel and convention center in the middle of Seoul. Although she was already born into wealth, as her father was the head of Samsung Group, she managed to make a name for herself by becoming a successful businesswoman. Boo Jin is known as the Samsung Princess, and has an equally powerful position in business like Hae In, who runs the Queen Shopping Center in the drama. When Hyun Woo and Hae In first run into each other, Hyun Woo doesn't know anything about her wealthy background. Compared to her, he was just a regular guy who worked at the Queen Group before marrying into crazy wealth. This storyline is strikingly similar to the way Boo Jin met her ex-husband, as they ran into each other at a charity event for the Samsung Foundation back in 1995. At the time, her ex-husband was a security guy employed by the Samsung Group, while she was an intern at the company. Despite their massively different social backgrounds, they fell deeply in love and eventually tied the knot, much to the surprise of everyone around them. Unfortunately, their love wasn't made to last, as they called it quits after 15 years of marriage. In the show, Hae In and Hyun Woo part ways after only three years, but there's no denying that the resemblance is there. Screenwriters definitely don't shy away from adding their own twists to these real-life love stories. 